What is sexier than a squid? Yeah, probably a lot of things. But yeah, squids actually don't have anything to do with the video that we are going to talk about today. This video has to do with this new show, probably very unknown. It's called Squid Game. I know you probably never heard of it. No, but seriously, it's the latest Netflix show. Everybody has heard of Squid Game. It's like the latest banger of Netflix. And yeah, I saw the show. I saw the first episode and I saw the premise and lots of YouTube videos and then I thought, hmm, there are actually lots of anime and manga with similar premises that my viewers actually could enjoy. So I thought, why not just uh, do a video about it? So today for you, I have three animes and mangas that I would highly recommend if you enjoyed Squid Game and you want something more to fill your girls, gory, squiddy desires of death games and hunger game vibes <laughs> either way at the end of this video i'm i'm actually going to include a surprise pick so stay tuned for that because i think that's also a cool anime also because i've wrote in the title anime slash manga they are not only going to be anime but also manga naturally so there are going to be two anime and two manga i talk about yeah i just fuck you <laughs> First thing I really want to want you guys to check out and the first thing that came in mind for me when I looked at Squid Game was Ultimate Survivor Kaiji. And this may seem like an odd pick because it's just gambling and card stuff. So it's a lot tamer in that sense. But believe me, Ultimate Survivor Kanji is everything but boring. <laughs> so basically Kaiji is this young man who finds himself in a lot of debt and he can escape this debt. And the only solution that he finds is to accept a shady deal. And the deal is pretty shady because from what you will see, he ends up in this massive ship with a lot of people who have no money, who gamble basically to get money back to repay and return to their normal life. And if they can't get the money back, then they're left within a shady situation again. I know this premise sounds super familiar because it's actually pretty similar to the beginning of Squid Game, but Kaiji is different in the sense that it only focuses on gambling. So it's a lot less like survival game focused per se, but I'll assure you it is about survival. It's not called Ultimate Survivor Kaiji for nothing. Kaiji finds himself in a lot of trouble again and again and he basically finds himself in this hellhole of a situation where he can't escape no matter how much he wins and he always has to struggle and I think that's the beautiful thing about Kaiji is that he actually stays true to the title. He's the ultimate survivor because Kaiji may be a loser in life but when it gets into Intense, he shows his real character and that's the beauty of the show. It's also a show that's not very forgiving. It kills off a lot of characters and you can be sure that it's always tense. So I would definitely recommend Ultimate Survivor Kaiji if you're into the tense stuff and into the tense moments that we find throughout Squid Game. Either way, let's move on to the next one. The next thing I'm going to talk about is actually a manga called Tomodachi Game. And we find ourselves with Yuichi, the main character, who seems pretty tame at first. Yeah, at first, mark my words. He is a hardworking being and he enjoys the company of his friends and the life that he built himself up. But that all gets ruined after the class that he's in planned a school trip. One person of his friend group collects all the money and the money gets then stolen. After that, <laughs> they get kidnapped by this strange anime figure. They find themselves waking up in a room where they are forced to participate in a game, questioning their friendship, their relationship and what they know of each other. And it exposes pretty dark secrets about them. And the games are pretty creative because they're based on children's game or pretty simple games that you could say have parallels to Squid Game. But again, it's a bit of a tamer show. It's not that gory like Squid Game. It's a lot more psychological focused. Uh, what it differentiates from Squid Game, it's that the main character is pretty mysterious. He's, <laughs> he's absolutely not a loser like we see in Kaiji, for example. It's very cool seeing this badass basically defeat all others with pure logic, but he's also kind of fucked up and you want to see the backstory. 
but you aren't going to get it anytime soon if you just check out the first chapter. So there's a mystery going on there too. So uh, yeah, you have a lot to look forward if you want to go with this manga. I, what I love is uh, in parallel to Squid Games, it also covers pretty dark themes of money, politics, corruption, prostitution and stuff like that. Oh my god, I feel dirty just saying those stuff out loud. Holy shit. <laughs> it, it's, it's also not dark just for the sake of it. Every character has its motives and grows out of their dark past. But I would say it's a lot more lighthearted in comparison to other stuff that happens in Squid Game. So it's not as gory. Either way, let's move on. So for the third place, I actually wanted to recommend Battle Royale for the gory aspect. Um, but I think most of you already read or have seen the film of Battle Royale and it's a pretty standard pick so I wanted to recommend something else and it's this one, Real Account. Real Account is, I wouldn't say it's as good as the last two picks, but for sure it is unique. It basically has the death game premise but the people are forced into their phones, so like, imagine Squid Game fused with something like Sword Art Online with less fantasy. The interesting thing about Real Account is basically that it fuses the death game premise with <laughs> the thing that you're seeing right now, it's social media. So if you get zero followers, then you pretty much are fucked and die. But there are a lot of twists and turns and uh, it can be really fucked up. However, for this one, I have to say that some parts feel brutal for the sake of feeling brutal. But I think the positives outweigh the negatives and I think it's still a pretty good read if you want to check out real account if you're interested in the premise it has a pretty unique premise so yeah go check that out also gigacast made a video about it some years ago so if you want a more detailed analysis go watch his video as for the f surprise pick as you math genius probably already know i've picked an anime not a manga because i wanted to have two mangas and two anime i picked batum let's be honest you've probably already seen batum but I think it's the closest you're going to get to something other than Kaiji to Squid Game in anime form. It focuses on this guy called Sakamoto. Not not the cool one. The other the other one. Yes, yes, this one. Thank you, editor. It focuses on this guy and he ends up stranding on this island where he finds himself with other contestants that are also unique in their own way. And he has to escape the island and while doing so, he has to collect seven ores so that he can actually leave the island according to the game's rules. I think what's cool about this one is just that it's a pretty generic but a very well done battle royale in anime form. It's said that it has never gotten a second season, but I think if you liked Squid Game and if you liked the survival aspect of it especially, and the relationship and the unions that can be formed, then definitely go check out the tomb because it also focuses very much on the relationship between characters in dire situations. Also some romantic feelings that can sparkle out of desperation, which now that it comes out of my mouth sounds pretty fucking evil. <laughs> Either way, that was my list of what I would recommend to a Squid Game fan. Again, I haven't seen all of Squid Game and I'm relying on some information from the internet, so nothing is super accurate. But from what I've seen, I can probably recommend all those shows, even after have, having finished Squid Game, because then again, that shit is nine hours long and I still need some time in my weekend. So forgive me for that. I didn't binge it yet. Either way, Thank you for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye. Subscribe baby!